What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, all that good shit, Cancer. <sighs> okay, Cancer, we're going to tap in. I'm going to show you the cards that I got. Um, first of all, Cancer, I heard the community is watching. So I don't know, the community or, you know, the area that you live in or people that are close to you, families, you know, like the community. It's like people are watching the situation or they're paying attention to something. Yeah, somebody could be moving. Um, I'm going to show you the cards that I got. Um, so the first card out is the Page of Cups Reverse. Um, then we got the Knight of Wands here. And then we got the judgment. Okay, so I feel like somebody is calling judgment on somebody. Somebody can have vitiligo out here. Wow. You hear all those horns and sirens? Like, what the fuck is going on here, Cancer? Uh, I feel like, oh, in the bottom of the deck, you got the Six of Pentacles. So some of you Cancers, you, you smoke weed. I don't like the fact that this woman is wearing a mask, though. So it's just like, I don't know, like, why you're wearing a mask, Cancer, or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why they would be necessary. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anytime you're wearing a mask, it's like you're not being your authentic self in this situation. I don't know if you're doing this to get some sort of assistance or help with the Six of Pentacles or, you know, somebody's needing help or assistance from you. But um, we got the page of Cups Reverse out here. That is a very childish, immature energy. Oh, I also heard Cancer. There could be an Aquarius getting some really bad karma around you. So I don't know what that's about. So that an Aquarius could be significant in some type of way. I don't know to what capacity. Um, yeah, page of Cups Reverse. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's very emotionally immature. Um, the page of Cups Reverse is like somebody who's very emotionally underdeveloped emotionally unstable this could be somebody with some sort of addiction drug or drinking problem um this person could have an obsession with spirituality too um they could be envious and jealous of someone else that called judgment on them I don't know, like, the, the page of Cups Reverse is somebody who engages is like, in, like, revenge plots. Um, somebody who's obsessed with getting get back or payback or something like that. It's like somebody out here is very childish. Like, they act like a kid. They lack emotional intelligence. Yeah, with the 5 of uh, 32 on here, it breaks down to a 5 of despair. So, this person could be struggling finding a job. Or they're having a hard time or a lot of unexpected changes are happening with this person. But I feel like this is somebody who's always been in and out of your life. Sagittarius energy or this person can have Sagittarius in their chart. Um, yeah, the Knight of Wands. I feel like this is somebody who's nice looking too. They're attractive. Um, this could be somebody who's mixed or mixed race or biracial, but it doesn't have to be. Um... But this is, I mean, this is somebody who's not ready to settle down. Knight of Wands is fire energy, Aries Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody here is not ready to settle down. They're playing around. They're looking at you. They're watching you, even though they're not making a move. This person could be a smoker as well. But I feel like somebody's a cheater. They're not ready to settle down. They're in and out, back and forth, and they only come around when they want to have a good time with you, Cancer. I feel like you may be calling judgment on this or shit. You're just playing the game how it go. For some of you with the Six of Pentacles here, you could be breadcrumbing this person. Or you could be giving to more than one person at once, Cancer. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cancer, I feel like maybe this is some the, somebody that you're interested in. But you know this person is like, if you're going to be honest with the judgment here, it's like this person is not ready for a real commitment. Um... Yeah, so I feel like you're just chilling by yourself. It's just like Six of Pentacles. You're not going to overgive. You know what I'm saying? You want reciprocity, equal give and take. So it's like if you give to me, I'll give to you. You know what I'm saying? But it's like if it's not going to be like that, then 
I'm calling judgment on your ass because fuck no. Or this could be somebody who wants a second chance with you. With the Page of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the judgment. Somebody's wanting a second chance or they're calling you. They want to talk to you or something. This could be something in regards to some money. Because I feel like you might have walked away with the Eight of Cups. Um, some of you Cancers may be on the chubby side or you could just be thicker. You know what I'm saying? Um... But I still like your. I still feel like if you are on like a thicker side, I still feel like you're fine as hell. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like Eight of Cups. You're refusing to settle for somebody who's like immature, refusing to grow up. It's like this person wants to have fun, but they don't want to invest. You know what I'm saying? With the Knight of Wands, like this is somebody who's cheating or playing around or in and out, back and forth, or they could be breadcrumbing you or something like. I don't know what somebody is doing out here, Cancer. But anyway, let's see. What's the message for Cancer? I feel like this person is watching you, though. They're watching you. They're looking. They're not making a move, though. Cancer, I mean, for some of you, you could have peeped that this person was a knight of wands. You're just like, yeah, this is just somebody to have fun with or having a good time with. You know what I'm saying? But or this person could have watched you call them and like this person could have watched you watch you call them cancer. Am I saying that right? Yeah, you could have called this person cancer with the judgment here and they just watched the phone ring. Like they didn't answer. It's like but they're watching you though. <laughs> Yeah, the community is watching here, but I feel like it's like this person has to be careful of the move that they make because people are watching what this person is going to do next with the Knight of Wands here. Because usually the Knight of Wands in a traditional tarot deck, the Knight of Wands is usually in some sort of movement. It's like he's in a car, he's on a horse with the Knight of Wands, he's taking action, he's going somewhere, he's doing something. This Knight of Wands is kind of leaned up against something here. And he's just, he's looking, but he's not taking action yet. Like he's taking a smoke break or something. So I don't know. It's like somebody here is careful before they make a move, Cancer. Let's see. Yeah, this despair energy. Yeah, so somebody could be going to court with a feminine energy. A uh, baby mama or something or a baby daddy or somebody could be in spiritual court and they're in despair about this because whatever this court shit is could be keeping them from getting employment or getting a job or something. Shit, six of pentacles here. For some of you, Cancer, you may have put this person on child support. You know what I'm saying? So you could be the person going to court or family court with this person or some shit. Yeah, sudden wealth. So yeah, page of cups with the sudden wealth. The page of cups reverse with the sudden wealth. This is somebody who's like envious of somebody else's ten of pentacles here like because 11 is sudden wealth somebody could be jealous of somebody's twin flame or some type of ten of pentacles or some type of inheritance somebody's envying somebody's inheritance whoever this page of cups reverse person is somebody who's very immature emotionally unstable somebody who's seeking revenge they're obsessive Yeah, unexpected income. Yeah, it's like somebody's like, I, I don't like this Knight of Wands with unexpected income because with the despair card coming out here, it's like this Knight of Wands is looking at somebody's inheritance. They're looking at somebody's like wealth, you know what I'm saying? Because they want some money or they want some assistance or they they need some of that or they want some of it. So it's like they're planning on calling this person or trying to get a second chance with the judgment here. 
this Knight of Wands is trying to get a second chance with somebody because they need some money. Like real shit, they need somebody to help them out. So I don't know if this person is trying to come towards you, Cancer, or... I don't know. Somebody could be putting this person up to doing this. This Knight of Wands is like, yeah, go fuck with whoever got this sudden wealth. It's like, yeah, go fuck with them and see if you can get some money out of this shit or get some money out of them. See if they'll help you or something. Yeah, courtship. Yeah, but I feel like this person's in a relationship, though. I feel like they're being coerced by a woman to go towards somebody to try to get some money. Somebody could be paying somebody to do this. Or this masculine is trying to get money out of somebody and bring it back to you, Cancer. Like, I don't know what the fuck this is. Yeah, this is somebody at a distance that they're looking at their wealth. Yeah, somebody who could possibly be in a relationship. Yeah, look at that. And thief. It's like somebody who's in a karmic relationship wants to go towards somebody who's at a distance in a lover's relationship to steal something. Because they see this person at a distance with this sudden wealth. Yeah, I feel like somebody out here is desperate for money. So they're going to try to send somebody a message. But it's like the karmic bitch that they're with knows about it. It's like they know that this person is going to do this. It's like, yeah, go to it. So whoever this is at a divine, who's at a distance, whoever this is at a distance with this sudden wealth, you know, somebody came into some sort of, some sort of inheritance. But it's just like this knight of wands who's running around and all this shit. He needs something from this person at a distance, whether it's literal, literal money or energy. And they're going to go towards this person to try to steal it. But I feel like they're with a karmic woman that's putting them up to this. So I don't know if you're the one that's at a distance who's in a lover's relationship with somebody cancer or there's a divine feminine at a distance uh, with a lover. And it's like they're with some karmic bitch that's putting them up to go take something or steal some sort of energy or something from a... um divine feminine or you cancer like i don't i don't like that type of shit like what the fuck is going on here it's like motherfuckers are desperate out here for energy somebody's desperate for healing or something here with the page of cups reverse because that is somebody who needs some serious healing in the page of cups reverse yeah it says imposter fraud stolen identity and faking it it's like, yeah, it's like somebody, it's a karmic woman out here that's like, that's telling some knight of wands here, like, yeah, go get some more energy from Divine Feminine because I need it to keep up my imposter shit. Yeah, vacation. And this could be somebody who's at a distance with a boo, a new bae. They could be on a romantic getaway. Like, who cancer y'all shit? Always fucked up. Like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know who these people be or what the fuck this shit is be going on, but... This shit is crazy. I feel like whoever this karmic woman is, I feel like she smokes. She smokes weed. She smokes cigarettes. She smokes something. I really feel like it's weed, though. Because I really feel like it's weed because people don't hold cigarettes like this. You know how she's pinching it with her thumb and her index finger? That's not somebody who's smoking a cigarette. They're smoking weed. So this could be a pothead ass bitch. <laughs> Let's see. What's the message for cancer? backtracking look at that backtracking flipped over regression revisiting the past going back on something it's like yeah go back over there go back and get that from divine feminine or divine masculine like what
You hear them sirens keep going off? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody's been warned. Somebody's been warned out here about doing this because cancer, before I came in here and started to do your reading, it was like completely quiet. It's like there was no sirens. There was nothing going on. As soon as I came in here and sat down, like I'm hearing sirens all of a sudden. Somebody here is being warned for trying to go back towards a divine being to steal something, money, energy, whatever the fuck it is. They're going to get themselves fucked up, like for real. Yeah, morning after, up all night, late night rendezvous, spending the night. So yeah, this bitch is still sneaking around with somebody, still fucking on somebody. It's like they may not be public with it because that's what I was saying. It's not a wise. They have to be careful of how they move because the community is watching these people. So it's that they're doing something sneakily, sneaky linking and shit. It's like this man leaves in the morning and shit. Yeah, up all night, late night rendezvous, spending the night. So yeah, they hook up at nighttime. They wake up in the morning, have breakfast, have coffee, and then this man is out again, night of wines. So somebody, it's a karmic bitch out here who's pretending like she's not sleeping with this night of wines anymore, but she still is. Because it's something here with the Six of Pentacles. It's like giving and taking. It's like I'm giving you something, you giving me something. Like It's like an exchange here of some kind. Yeah, viral. It says instant fame going around quickly, gaining popularity. So something here could have went viral. Yeah, look at that bottom of the deck. Sorry, not sorry. Unremor unremorseful, avoiding accountability, neglecting responsibility. So because of this card being on the bottom of the deck, I already know that this is a crazy bitch. A bitch that don't want to take accountability. A bitch that doesn't have them all. It's like, okay. Let's see. It's like something could have went viral between these two people and they're still sneaking around and sneaky linking with each other behind the scenes. This is some, whatever this is, is some dysfunctional shit. Because this is like a karmic bitch who exposed somebody or she did something that went viral about this person and now they still laid up together. So was this like for clout? For attention, like I don't know. Why is the whatever this is that they're doing is going to backfire so bad? Like, ooh, child, yeah, because this could be something. Whatever this is that that went viral, she could be getting patronized for this. People could be paying her to do something or. Say something or I don't know. Yeah, sleeping princess, unmotivated, procrastinating, put things off. So this is a lazy bitch who's always sleeping. She's unmotivated. She procrastinates. She doesn't do what she's supposed to be doing. She doesn't take care of her responsibilities. Like just a lazy bitch. Always sleep and shit. Yeah, key player. Yeah, important person playing an essential role, irreplaceable. Yeah, I feel like this is that divine feminine at a distance, or this is you, Cancer, at a distance. It's like she, this divine feminine was a key player. That's like that's why somebody wants to go back towards her because they need energy or they need money or they need something from this divine feminine. But this divine feminine could be popular or well known, or she could be in the spotlight or have a platform of some sort. It's like irreplaceable out here. They can't replace her energy. So it's like they're coming up with some type of plot or scheme to like, I don't know. I'm telling you, that's going to get their ass fucked up. Whoever this is. Look at this shit. It says sexual tactics, gaining attention, lured by temptation. Yeah, so this siren could be going viral for something. 
where she's posting a lot, sexual tactics, gaining attention. She can be on social media naked or exposing herself or just doing something crazy. It's sexual. It's of a sexual nature, though. Sexual tactics. I don't know what she's doing. Posting pictures in the tub or wearing skimpy outfits or talking nasty. Or she's doing something to try to get attention, trying to go viral and shit. This siren. These hoes are trifling, man. Like, these bitches just... Yeah, mind games. Tell her this is a bitch that likes to play mind games. Mind, mind games, manipulation, gaslighting, scare tactics. So she's trying to manipulate somebody, gaslight somebody. Yeah, but this is a bitch who got a people please just to get attention from a man. It's like, bitch, you do all this sexual shit just to get attention. Because that's the only way a nigga will fuck with you. Like, nigga ain't just going to fuck with you just because they see you as a good option. It's like, bitch, they see you as a siren. A bitch who's hypersexual. Who's down for anything, willing to be nasty, willing to do some nasty shit. It's like this bitch gotta manipulate niggas into liking her ass because she's a fucking weirdo. So I don't know who the fuck this is. What's the message here for cancer? It's like, it's literally, there's a divine feminine at a distance, and then there's a lazy bitch out here who didn't backtrack to some dude that she probably said she wasn't gonna fuck with or she was done with. It's like, she's still sneaky linking with this person. Like, real shit. She playing mind games and shit, trying to manipulate and gaslight some shit. Trying to go viral or trying to be relevant. Like, you know, what's this? This not even supposed to be in here. Yeah, hands off. Territorial lovers staking claims, scaring off the competition. I feel like that that's probably what she thinks she's doing. She thinks she's scaring somebody off. Like, girl. This could be a narcissist. This feminine energy is a narc. It's like she plays mind games with this knight of wands. She doesn't want him to be with anybody else or she don't want him to fuck anybody else but her. It's like, girl. This is distant horizons on the bottom of the deck. So either cancer, you're at a distance from this person and, and this weird ass bitch who's been doing this shit. Or you are this bitch. So you take it as it resonates. But it can all be all out of jealousy. Like this is an envious ass bitch. She's jealous of somebody's inheritance. It says inattentive, easily distracted by internal and external issues, wandering eyes, backup plan, moving on to the next best thing, distracted, flighty, ungrounded, physically present, but mentally somewhere else in their head, focuses on career and other people's issues. Yeah, so this is a bitch with like ADHD. She has a short attention span, very flighty, ungrounded easily distracted, worried about other people's problems and shit, always minding somebody else's business. Well, this is this man. Yeah, it says dating fiasco, regrets engaging in a short-term or long-term relationship with a partner. Long-term ramifications should have known better. Yeah, somebody's like, hate. they hate that they got involved with somebody. It says regret marrying the person they are with, should have never trusted should have trusted their instincts living in regret and wants to leave but has difficulty so somebody could be like getting a divorce or they're married and just unhappy as fuck yeah it 
says opposites. This came out in Scorpio's energy too. So some of you be dealing with Scorpio. But yeah, differences drives the connection further apart. Cannot see eye to eye. So yeah, it's two people not getting along. Differences make each other better and stronger. Sees the other's perspective. Yeah, it says Pandora's box. Explosive behavior, erratic and uncontrollable emotions. Feels anger and hopelessness. Reactive and unchecked ego. And it says Pandora's box. Ticking time bomb. Suppressed emotions, unwillingness to share and open up, holding back feelings and lacks communication. Yeah, so somebody has a nasty ass side to them. This mind games and shit that a bitch be playing. It's just like she does this shit behind the scenes, man. Like people really don't know how this bitch really get down. I feel like you do or this divine feminine or this high priestess does. Because there's a divine feminine or a high priestess at a distance from this shit. She could have separated herself. It says lack of affection. Misinterprets lack of affection as dislike or loss or loss of love. Feels insecure about connection. Argues when they feel like they're not getting enough time and affection and attention. It says touchy feely. Feels smothered and overwhelmed by constant physical interaction. Feels the need to prove their love with a physical displays of affection. Yeah, so this is a bitch who gets insecure when a nigga ain't fucking her. It's like, if he don't want to give me no dick, then that must mean he don't like me. Like, a bitch is retarded out here on some real shit. But, it, I mean, that's probably the truth because we got opposites out here. Somebody isn't really compatible. They're not really a good match here. It's like opposites attract, but it's like it's not really a good blending of energies. And somebody's like inattentive. It's like they don't pay this bitch no mind because they know that she's a siren. It's like you, you, you're always doing sexual shit. Let's see. What's the message here for cancer? Look at what flipped out. The fucking high priestess. Mm -hmm. Whoever the high priestess is or this reader is, she's just like, yeah, I know. It's like, yeah, I know what the fuck is going on, period. <laughs> Told you it was a high priestess at a distance. She flipped out first. Damn, that's hella crazy. So there's a high priestess who knows exactly what the fuck is going on with these people. Yeah, look at that Empress reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, so this is a whiny, clingy, emotionally unstable gaslighting just just a stupid bitch that's a terrible mother <laughs> queen of cups reverse and the empress reverse this is a bitch who pretends to be a divine feminine but she's really a siren she really manipulates and gaslights niggas to get to, to to fuck her basically it's like damn bitch like you gotta do all that just to get some dick like, this bitch is really, really insecure. She's delusional. She thinks she's some type of divine feminine. She's clingy. She's codependent. She always likes to play victim. She could be an alcoholic or she drinks a lot. It's, like, very thirsty, very whiny, very irritating with the Empress Reverse. I mean, and it's crazy because she's actually a pretty girl. She's nice looking, but this behavior is not it, okay? Like, real shit. And she's a horrible mother, for some of you, she could be real moody, very up and down. She could be pregnant. Or she could be responsible for a breakup for two people breaking up with their two of cups reverse right there. the six of pentacles again it's like somebody out here is getting bread crumbed it's like they know that somebody is giving to somebody else and them but there's like there's they still want to fuck with this person though six of pentacles here it could be an earth sign involved capricorn towards virgo it's like somebody's being bread crumbed yeah seven of wands reverse 
Yeah, I feel like somebody that lost power, control, and respect in this situation. Somebody lacks boundaries here. It's like they don't know how to, like, set boundaries with somebody. A baby mother or a mother or somebody here. It's like they get timid and scared around this person. They get shy. It's just like when this person is around, they can't stand up for themselves or something. Yeah, the world card. Yeah, I feel like this is a cycle that's closed out. Something here is over. It's closed out. But I feel like there's like a secret here. Because like, if you see, you see all of them on this card. It's like they're all like got their finger to their mouth. Like, shh, be quiet. Don't say nothing. So I feel like it could be up to like four bitches that are in on something here. Because something here could be backfiring with the Seven of Wands. Something could have blew up in somebody's face with the Seven of Wands. Somebody could be embarrassed. So it's like they have to give to somebody or they have to pay somebody back or pay somebody to keep their secret or something. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, there's an emperor on the bottom of the deck. Divine Masculine with the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, so somebody could be with a divine masculine here. Or there's a divine masculine around. Or like I said, somebody's trying to get somebody to do their dirty work. It's like a cycle then closed out here. But it's like whoever the little minion is that they that they they're getting to try to do their dirty work, it's like go towards that divine masculine. Get him to give you some money or get him to pay you or give you something or something with the six of pentacles. I was a six of pentacles here. Yeah, three of pentacles. I'm telling you, it's a group of people working together. Three of pentacles with the six of pentacles. This could be happening at your job with a co-worker or some shit. Or co-workers. It's like they're all working together to try to like do something. I don't know. Well, I have the three of pentacles here and the six of pentacles. Yeah, the death card reverse. Because they don't want something to be over. Or they don't want something to change with the death reverse. Scorpio energy. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles reverse. I'm telling you, it's a loser ass man out here. Some bum ass dude could be a bum ass earth sign, but somebody here is lazy. They're a mooch. They're a user. It's like they're unmotivated. They're always acting like they're getting money. This is somebody who's a slob with poor hygiene and they refuse to change with the death in reverse. They don't want to transform. Yeah, and Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, this person's in and out. They run around, they sleep around. It's like they're trying to catch up to this chariot that this divine feminine is on or this high priestess is on. The devil. But the devil, it's like there's a woman behind this shit. Alright, what the fuck? Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed? Yeah, Eight of Cups reverse. I feel like this math, wherever this Knight of Pentacles reverse is, this is somebody with abandonment issues. Eight of Cups reverse. It's like they went back to something that caused them to lose everything with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. It's like they settled for something and now they're over there pretending to be happy, pretending like they're happy working with this group of people or working with this toxic ass bitch again. When really they hate it there. Like, but they ain't got no choice because that's what they chose. That's what they went back to. That's what they settled for with the Eight of Cups here in the reverse.
Yeah, four of wands here. Yeah, and they could be trying to like return to somebody that they left hanging. Like real shit, they left somebody hanging, somebody who's in the four of wands here, somebody who's stable. Yeah, eight of wands reverse. And I feel like whoever this is at a distance with this four of wands, this stability, I feel like they they block this person with the eight of wands here in the reverse. Where the truth came out about the fact that you're with a divine masculine. Eight of Wands is like that Mercury retrograde energy. So something here slowed down or somebody can't get in contact with you. Their messages are not being delivered or it's like every time they're trying to come towards you, it's a delay with the Eight of Wands reverse. Or every time they try to send you a message or say something to you, if there's a delay, something is stopping it. Yeah, the Magician reverse. Yeah, because this person is a player, a trickster. They can't be trusted. This is like somebody who manipulates you to get whatever they need out of you. Somebody who's conniving. Magician reverse. They play a lot of games. They're a trickster with the magician here in the reverse. Virgo, Gemini energy. Yeah, it's like somebody's a loser. They're a bum and they just play too many fucking games. They're, they're a con artist. Like the magician reverse is somebody who can't manifest. They don't know how to transmute energy. And they're a shapeshifter. It's like, this is the magician reverse. This is not somebody that you should trust cancer at all. You can't trust this person with nothing. Not your information, not your money, not nothing. But I feel like you got this person blocked. Eight of Wands with the magician or something is blocking them. The Mercury retrograde energy is keeping this person from messaging you or reaching out to you. But I feel like it's blocked because, or the communication is blocked, or the communication then slowed down between the both of you because this person has ill intent. You know what I'm saying? You're stable over here with the four of wands and shit. And this person left you hanging and want to come back towards you all of a sudden. Yeah, Queen of Cups reverse. But there's a woman like putting this person up to it, or it's like they're playing games with a Queen of Cups reverse also. Or they're using a Queen of Cups reverse, somebody who's clingy and codependent on them. It's like, but they're a bum. Like, these are two people who should not be in any type of relationship. A Knight of Pentacles reverse and a Queen of Cups reverse. Hopefully, that's not you, Cancer, but that is your energy. So, for some of you, it could be you. The Queen of Cups reverse is manipulative, whiny, clingy, codependent. Emotionally immature, emotionally undeveloped, underdeveloped, and unavailable. Like she doesn't have the capacity to love somebody because she don't even she hasn't learned how to love herself yet. With the Queen of Cups reverse, and she could be jealous of something. Yeah, because she keeps letting this man, whoever this Nine of Pentacles magician reverse person is, she keeps letting this person trick her. Of the Queen of Cups reverse. Ten of Wands, and she she's burdened by this. It's stressing her the fuck out. She's feeling overwhelmed. She got a lot going on, a lot to deal with by herself with this bum ass nigga not helping her. It's like she's taking care of a man, like real shit. The Knight of Pentacles reverse is like somebody who is just they can't stand on their own two feet. Even though they be lying, acting like they getting money and they doing this and they doing that. This person's a trickster. They're manipulative with the um. magician reverse yeah and it's stressing her the fuck out dealing with this person they're tricking her playing with her emotions using her and it's just weighing her the fuck down <laughs> it's, in a it's like it's getting too much to bear 
Like real shit, yeah. Two swords reverse. Yeah, lies are coming out. The lies that this person's been is the the lies that this person's been telling is being exposed or shit, the two of swords reverse is like the red flags that she's been ignoring. It's like you can't ignore them anymore. It's like you see them <laughs> or she sees them with the Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, the Ten of Cups reverse. This could be somebody that they could be married or they could have kids together, but it's very dysfunctional. A very dysfunctional family dynamic. Very messy family secrets is coming out and shit. Yeah, these are people who are not really taking care of children if they got them. It's like they're not paying attention to their kids. It's like this bitch is just so in her feelings about what this man is doing. But he's stressing her the fuck out. Why is... Seven of Wands reverse. Something backfired on their ass. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? And I feel like this man is leaving her with all the responsibility. Yeah, seven of pentacles reverse. Something here was a bad investment. Some some plan didn't go well. That's why I kept hearing them sirens. Seven of wands and the seven of pentacles. Seven seven is out here. Somebody was warned not to do some shit. Seven of pentacles. Now somebody's frustrated. Something was a bad investment. They tried to start a business and uh, lost a whole bunch of money. Or it's like they tried to do something again that they were warned not to do. Trying to steal something or take something from a divine feminine. Like, absolutely not. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Because somebody with that Pandora's box might trying to win at all costs. Yeah, king of cups here. There's a Queen of Cups reverse out here and a King of Cups of right. So there's a bitch out here who's codependent and dealing with two different men. There's a King of Cups here who knows self-worth, self-love. And then there's a Knight of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this woman is sleeping with the both of these people. That's the King of Cups here. But it's like she got caught up with this Magician reverse though. She got tricked. She had an opportunity to be with a, a king of cups here. Somebody who could have helped heal her. Somebody who was emotionally available. But she chose this knight of pentacles magician reverse person. Yeah, and now this king of cups is choosing a queen of pentacles here. Somebody who's stable. Somebody who's ready to be a wife. Yeah, this King of Cups wants to choose a Queen of Cups. Or he, this King of Cups wants to choose a Queen of Pentacles. He's in love or he has emotions for a Queen of Pentacles here. And he's leaving this cheating ass Queen of Cups reverse out in the cold because that bitch got caught up with a magician reverse. She got tricked. Whoever this codependent ass, emotionally unstable woman is, she got tricked out her spot by a magician reverse. And now she's over there stressed the fuck out, burdened, having issues with family and all type of shit. Yeah, five of wands here. All kind of conflict and drama and pettiness and motherfuckers fighting and arguing and shit. Yeah, the sun reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody feels oppressed. Somebody could be fighting and arguing with a Leo. Yeah, because we got the sun reverse, the king of wands reverse, and the five of wands. That's all Leo energy. There would be a low vibe as Leo man out here. King of wands reverse is like a dirty ghetto nigga. Like somebody who's who needs a lot of validation, a lot of attention, somebody who's oppressed. It's like they've been abused and mistreated for so long that they're just mean as fuck now with this King of Wands energy. Very petty, very abusive, very aggressive.
very manipulative and disrespectful with this King of Wands reverse. He's very insecure, very depressed, somebody who's pessimistic and negative, prideful and egotistical, insecure. I don't know. This could be some, something in somebody's family. This could be a brother or a sibling or something here with the King of Wands reverse. Because I told you, there's a messy family, dysfunctional family dynamic out here with the Ten of, Ten of Cups reverse. So there's a Queen of Cups reverse who's getting left. Her husband or her boyfriend or baby daddy is looking at a Queen of Pentacles here. And she's caught up with a Magician reverse Knight of Pentacles motherfucker that's been using her. And then there's a King of Wands reverse that's trying to fight somebody or she, this Queen of Cups reverse is trying to get this King of Wands reverse to fight this um, Knight of Pentacles magician reverse. My brother like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, two of Wands reverse. Where she, this Queen of Cups reverse, she could have lied about who her baby belongs to. So now she got a magician, re magician Knight of Pentacles reverse person and a King of Wands reverse reverse person like going back and forth i mean neither one of these niggas ain't shit for real but she could have lied about who the baby daddy is or who the father is and now all these people are into it it's just like what the fuck it's, it's like three men out here king of wands reverse king of cups in the upright and the knight of pentacles reverse and there's one feminine energy queen of Pe queen of cups reverse or she, like I said, if she not pregnant, she could have just all been cheating, sleeping around with these people. And word getting around like, oh yeah, you hit, I hate too. Or, you know, like, what the fuck? Yeah, King of Swords reverse. So wherever this King of Swords reverse is, he's community dick too. Like he could have been with this Queen of Cups reverse, King of Swords reverse, this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it's like the King of King of Swords reverse and the King of Wands reverse. This is somebody who's whorish themselves, very abusive, jealous, insecure. They're a liar. And they could be trying to go back to somebody from their past, somebody that they they thought was another option than this Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody's like, it's like all these men are finding out that this Queen of Pen Queen of Cups reverse is a whore. It's like her pussy precedes her. It's like people know about her pussy before they actually get to meet her ass. It's just like, oh yeah, that's that little bitch who who be on go. She she cool. She she let you fuck. Like, it's that type of shit. So somebody's like reputation is ruined out here. It's like they're known as a whore. This female. Yeah, three of wands reverse. And I feel like I feel like a lot of people that got tricked in this situation, like this Queen of Cups was fooling a lot of people with this fake ass feminine energy, this damsel in distress and oh, I'm so sweet and innocent. Like, bitch, no, you're not. You're manipulative. You're a gaslighter. You're an emotional manipulator. I feel like she didn't got all these niggas to feel sorry for her. Some of these niggas didn't spend money on her. Other of these niggas didn't have had babies on, like had a baby with her and shit. And I feel like these people are... Peace. And I could feel somebody that she's dating too. This Queen of Cups reverse, there's a King of Cups reverse out here. Somebody that she's jealous of, this King of Cups could be interested in the person that she's jealous of. It's like, I don't know. It's like this bitch is cursed or something. It's just like every nigga that she comes in contact with, she ruins them.
or she attracts all narcissists or something like six of swords reverse mm -hmm. yeah and i feel like this king of wands reverse king of swords reverse he's trying to spin the block on somebody or he's trying to get out of this situation or disassociate himself from the king of uh, from this queen of cups reverse but he can't it's not that easy i'm the six of swords reverse Yeah, two of cups reverse. Yeah, he burned a bridge with somebody. Two of cups reverse. He he broke he this king of wands, king of swords reverse person. He burned a bridge with someone, two of cups that could have really cared about him or had potential to be like a lover's connection or a soulmate. Yeah, the hangman. Yeah, he got himself sacrificed. Or he sacrificed a two of cups for this queen of cups reverse the whole time she was playing him. It's like she got a, a, a knight of pentacles reverse and a king of cups in her energy. It's three men out here and one female. Yeah, the moon reverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the secrets came out. Something's been exposed out here. Or a bitch has been exposed. It's like there's no confusion around a situation anymore. Something is then came to the light. Something that was in the dark has came to the light here with the moon reverse. Yeah, the horrifying reverse. This bitch could be in some type of cult. Or like I said, somebody could be getting divorced out here. The moon in a hierophant reverse shit. Some of you cancers, you could be divorcing a Taurus. Or somebody who's just narcissistic and a bully. Because, I mean, I don't know, cancer. Your energy is showing up out here in the reverse. Queen of Cups reverse and the moon reverse. Yeah, and the five of cups here. It's like, it's some man tired of this drunk ass bitch. Like, like you see how she's leaning over on him? It's like a man out here is in regret that he um got involved or married into this dysfunctional ass family and shit. It's just like, man, nah, hell no. Nah. I feel like cancer, if you're involved with a tourist, you're disappointed. This person has a God complex or your your beliefs and their beliefs don't match up or something. That's a world card here. Yeah. Yeah, Knight of Wands here. Yeah, somebody is still like running around being a whore. There's a Knight of Wands here. Something here is. Yeah, Four of Swords Reverse. And this, whoever this Knight of Wands is, this could be somebody who has mental health issues. It's like they need to go see a therapist and shit, but this is somebody who, who feels like they don't need therapy or they don't need mental health, but they do. The four swords reverse because their mind runs over time. This could be somebody who suffers from insomnia. They don't get any sleep because they have nightmares and shit. Yeah, five of swords. Something backfired on this motherfucker playing mind games and shit. Yeah, the hermit reverse. Yeah, this person doesn't want nothing to do. It's like people don't want nothing to do with this knight of wands. I feel like he got involved with this queen of cups reverse. And like now his reputation is ruined too. It's like, nah, you was fucking around with her. Like, nah, we cool, bro. Or motherfuckers, somebody out here is depressed with the Hermit Reverse Virgo energy. Something backfired on their ass. That's why they be out here cheating and shit. Yeah, four cups. It's like they're not interested in this bitch no more. And she keeps coming over here with these fake ass titties, trying to offer them another drink. Yeah, the Four of Cups. It's like, there's a Virgo man out here, a Taurus, a Leo, possibly a Gemini. It's like something that all backfired on their ass from getting involved with this bitch. And I feel like she's trying to be nice all of a sudden, Four of Cups. She's trying to make an offer to one of these people or something. I don't feel like it's working. Yeah, nine of cups. Somebody's like, nah, I'm happier by myself or I'm happier alone. What the fuck is this, man? 
Yeah, it's like a whole bunch of family secrets coming out. Yeah, Nine of Swords reverse. It's like somebody don't give a fuck out here. Yeah, and the Four of Pentacles reverse. But it's like these people are struggling, penny pinching. You know, they're financially unstable. Or these people, there something's going on with their stability. It's like somebody don't give a fuck that somebody's struggling. Yeah, the Empress reverse. So there could be a feminine energy here. Uh, a mother figure or a grandmother or something with the four of pentacles reverse. So this could be like a mother and all her kids and shit. It's an empress reverse. Then there's a king of wands reverse out here and shit. It's like, this is like a dysfunctional ass family here. But there's a manipulative ass bitch. Like there could be like incest out here. Cause I feel like I feel like these people are related. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles here is this high priestess that's at a distance and she's stable and shit. But it's like, why is the King of Cups trying to talk to the Queen of Pentacles when the Queen of Cups is over here in the reverse? Like uh, even if they are just in-laws and shit, yeah, because the Ten of Cups reverse can be like family secrets being exposed. Two of, two of swords reverse lies being exposed and shit it is some weird shit going on here cancer what the fuck yeah judgment reverse yeah these people are under judgment there's malicious gossip motherfuckers not taking accountability they're judging and blaming each other judgment reverses false accusations yeah ten of swords and it's leaving somebody at rock bottom what something is saying about what something is being said about somebody or somebody's being judged and it's leaving them in the ten of swords yeah they could be crying and shit with the ace of cups yeah tempers they're crying they're upset they're frustrated and shit three of cups here in the reverse yeah something is extremely messy <sighs> something is so messy Knight of cups reverse and somebody's trying to love bomb a situation be nice all of a sudden Cause they're being left out in the cold and they're broke yeah strength card i feel like somebody pulled back their energy and left yeah page of pentacles but somebody could be trying to make a peace offering to this person at a distance that left oh, the ten of swords here somebody's being judged harshly about a betrayal judgment with the ten of swords but it's like somebody's not taking accountability either with the judgment reverse they're like i don't see what i did wrong it's like, you don't see what you did wrong in the motherfuckers in the Ten of Swords, bitch? What do you mean? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. And this is somebody who's trying to make the peace offering. What? It's the Empress Reverse here. The Nine of Pentacles. In the Wheel of Fortune reverse, yeah. There's like a whole dysfunctional family dynamic that's going through karma. I feel like this could be some type of cult. Or this could be a family with like a cult-like mentality. It's like they all stick together. They don't hold each other accountable and shit. And I feel like karma is like sweeping through this whole family dynamic. Like real shit. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is Or shit, we got the divine masculine over here. The it's an empress reverse out here, so there could be a divine masculine, the ace of swords. He know the truth about this bitch's family. He could have been married to this bitch with the emperor and the ace of swords here. The empress is in reverse over here, so he's going through a divorce. He's getting out of this shit because he's just like, nah, I see how this family operate. Y'all conniving, y'all dysfunctional, y'all are crazy. It's all kind of weird shit going on. Like I'm divorcing this bitch and getting the fuck out of dodge. Like real shit. Or oh, I'm breaking up with this bitch. I'm gone. Like Will of Fortune reverse here. It's a lot of upheaval. Fighting and arguing. Yeah, somebody is cursing somebody out. Like there's like somebody who's a criminal in this family. Could be a Sagittarius here. It's like everybody blaming each other for some karma that's happening. Ooh-wee. 
Yeah, because seven of swords reverse. Somebody got caught. Somebody got caught lying, stealing, cheating, being sneaky. Yeah, look at that in the tower. Ooh. But somebody in the famous somebody in the family could be blowing up or becoming famous with a star in the tower here. Could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio. And it has somebody else in the Eight of Swords here. Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah, a jealous ass bitch. There could be a Queen of Wands reverse that's going to jail. Or she could be in spiritual jail with the Eight of Wands. I mean, the Queen of Wands reverse and the Eight of Swords here. It's like this family, this cult, or whatever this group of people is, they were warned about doing something to somebody. They were warned. That's why them sirens kept going off in the beginning of your reading. All hell is breaking loose in this family dynamic. Whatever this is, this cult, this family, and there's somebody at a distance who is like in a relationship separate from this shit. Or for some of you, um, Cancer, if you're in this lover six of wands relationship with this emperor, I feel like this is their ex that they used to be in a relationship with or married to the empress reverse. This is her weird ass family that tried to sacrifice this divine masculine and it's backfiring. So you could be happily in love with this emperor, this divine masculine here. And whoever this, this divine masculine divorced, who we, it's like they're getting wiped the fuck out. Like this is, crazy yeah queen of swords reverse it's like this could be a cult of like witches because like i said the world card came out i'm like it's like a group of four bitches that is keeping some shit quiet because you see how they all got their fingers up to their mouth like shh don't say nothing don't tell your husband don't tell your boyfriend don't tell your baby daddy we all gonna keep this between us i don't feel like that worked i feel like somebody here is getting caught Somebody's exposing them. This Knight of Wands, possibly, they got caught up with one of their asses is exposing their shit. This is crazy. Yeah, Ace of Cups here. Yeah, Page of Wands. Yeah, somebody could be crying because they didn't got some bad news sexually. The Knight of Cups reverse. Ooh, wee. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could be sick with the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups reverse. Somebody who goes both ways or they're down low or some shit and they could get some bad news in regards to their sexual health with the Page of Wands reverse. Cancer, I don't know what the fuck this is. Nine of Cups. For some of you, you may find this shit funny or entertaining. Yeah, Queen of Wands reverse and there's a jealous... There's a, a bitch that's jealous of you. Because it's, it's all, it's a, this is a coven of witch, witches. There's an Empress reverse, a Queen of Wands reverse, a Queen of Cups reverse. There's three bitches out here. Like, what the fuck? I feel like you could be happy that you're getting something that you want with the Nine of Cups. Or you're happy that you're getting something that you want and you didn't get involved. You didn't fall for the tricks. You didn't get involved in this shit. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, you could be at work or work or focusing on some sort of skill set or project. Yeah, Three of Cups. It's a bunch of messy shit. Like I said, this could be going on in a workplace. A bunch of messy ass hoes, I'm telling you. Yeah, King of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you found your person, Cancer. It's like you found your person and you got out of Dodge. You didn't get involved with this Knight of Cups reverse or this Knight of Wands or this down low ass nigga. Like, you ain't get involved with none of this shit. Yeah, the High Priestess. I told you. High Priestess. Yeah, so some of you are psychic or your readers and shit. I don't know what the fuck this is. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. I told you. It's a High Priestess here at a distance with this generational will or this divine inheritance. High Priestess with the Ten of Pentacles. It's like she's at a distance with her divine masculine, king of pentacles to the queen of pentacles, the emperor, the six of wands, the lovers, the ace of swords, the high priestess, and the ten of pentacles. Yeah, the truth is coming out. Ooh, we queen of swords reverse, another weird ass bitch. Yeah, and the page of swords, I'm telling you. And whoever, whoever this bitch is that's the leader of this shit, she's spying and stalking somebody. The devil with the page of swords here. 
devil with the page of swords. Somebody's like obsessively stalking somebody. Could be a Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. Mm -mm, can't so I'm finna get the fuck off of here because this is this is weird. I don't know what the fuck this is. Maybe you can't explain, but justice is being served. The karmic skills are being balanced, and it could be shocking that somebody's going to jail with a tower and an ace of swords. Yeah, somebody here is mad and exhausted because this has been an ongoing. Some of these, these hoes been doing this shit for a long ass time, and it's finally coming to an end. And it's like they don't know what to do. Seven of Cups, they're all going to be lost. And I'm hearing destitute is what Spirit is saying. But like all this shit is getting ready to blow up in these hoes' face. With the tower is here exposing these bitches. So I don't know, Cancer. Maybe you can tell me what this is. I don't know what the fuck type of reading this was. Okay, Cancer. But anyway, please like, share, subscribe. This would be some industry shit too that I'm hearing. But anyway. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit, and I will holler at you later. Peace.